Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your September, well the first half of September forecast. So we're looking at the 1st to the 15th and this will be for Gemini, someone rising Venus signs. It may also be relevant if you're dealing with a Gemini, someone rising or Venus. And as always, just keep an open mind, these are general and make sure to watch all your signs, okay? So let's have a look. What's coming up for Gemini's in the first half of September 2019? Okay. okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Three of Swords. So there's a bit of disappointment here. A um, bit of heartache, heartbreak might be you know, having to sacrifice something, having to put something on pause, um, a temporary separation, not getting the answer you wanted. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, definitely you're dealing with some sort of an ending. But I do feel it's for the better. Okay, so let's just carry on and see what we have. Um, the current situation, we have the death card. So for some of you, you are dealing with an ending. Not necessarily what you wanted, okay, with the Three of Swords, but it's something you can manage. Um, what I'm feeling with this is, for the most part, this isn't what you want, but at the same time, you know it's the right thing, okay? So that's why we have the Swords piercing the heart. So it can be the end of a relationship. It can be um, the end of a living arrangement, okay, because we do have the, nine, uh, the Knight of Wands in the challenge. It can be the end of a job. Okay, or this is a very big change, so maybe you're moving, so you have to also find a new job and you have to get, you know, rearranged and acquainted with new places, new people. Okay, it is a big change, it is a big um, move, whatever this is. So it does talk about the end of a phase in your life when you did certain things on a certain schedule, on a certain routine, all of that. And now that is changing, okay? So it could just be that because it's, it's the Three of Swords, okay? The challenge, we have once again the Knight of Wands. So for some of you, this is about a move that's challenging, a, a job search or the changing the process of actually changing your job that may be challenging at this time. With the Knight of Wands, for some, you might be dealing with someone who's non-committal and that's why a connection is ending, okay, if it's romantic. Um, or someone who's just not willing to settle down, okay? In the foundation, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So whatever is ending, you've given it time, you've invested in it, you've worked on it, okay? If this is about a person, you've given them time to figure things out, you've given them time to, you know, get themselves together, figure out what they want, and so on and so forth. Financially, you know, whatever the situation is that's ending, you have been saving up for it. You've been organizing and rearranging your finances to be ready for this. Um, it is a big move for some of you. It feels like, you know, taking the bull by the horns. So it's, it's a case of, um, maybe for a while now, you've been looking at your finances, trying to figure out if you're going to be okay to make this move at the time you were, you're, you were going to make it. Okay. But the seven of pentacles does talk about a time of planning. So whatever is ending, it, it's not a shock. That's why you have the three of swords as the overall energy. So it's not as bad as it could be okay with the ten of swords in your mind i feel like you were expecting it to be a lot harder than it actually is okay this moving on moving forward moving out um changing job situation changing resident situation okay i feel that you were putting it off because you expected it to be awful you expected it to be something that just completely takes you out okay but actually you know, with the Three of Swords, you're okay. It's not something you're quite ready to celebrate, you know what I mean? But you're okay. It, it doesn't bother you as much as you thought it would. In the past, we have the Three of Cups. So for some of you, this is trying to take something from a social, shallow, or superficial level to make it deeper, okay? And that's what you've tried to do. But unfortunately, you've been dealing with someone who was just not going to do that, okay? With the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is not necessarily that this person was a player and they um, knowingly held you back, okay, kept you from moving on, although for some of you that would be the case, 
but for others it's just that's just their nature you know that's their nature they're not ready to settle down um, and no matter how much time you 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 gave them that didn't change unfortunately however um, you are moving on okay you've put an end to this it's done it's over and you're moving forward. What you're moving towards is the King of Pentacles. So this could be a Taurus of Virgo or Capricorn that you're moving towards. Um, this is you moving towards financial stability and financial independence. Um, owning your own place, owning your own business, um, being in a position of authority, having more money come in, more perks. Yes, more responsibility and more work, but it's um, more money that, co that goes with it, you know. So if that's what you wanted, and it is a step up, something is maturing, something is reaching the next level, it just unfortunately looks like it couldn't be in the situation you were in, okay? So you had to leave the situation you were in, the situation you were trying to turn into this stable, beautiful thing, you had to leave that behind. And as soon as you do, you find the situation that actually takes you to this beautiful, long-term, stable thing, all right? Um... And since we're looking, you know, at all sorts of energies, it, it could be everything, you know, for some, it will be about your relationship and the fact that the person you were hoping for, hoping to do this with, they weren't ready, they weren't going to do that. So as soon as you kind of accept that, make your peace with that, and then cut the ties, then you've got this new person coming in, you know, um, for financial situation, same thing, maybe you had an, uh, invested in something and you were waiting for it to pay off and it never did. And then you looked at, okay, well, I'm going to cut that, cut my losses there and look for other opportunities. And as soon as you do, you find that better opportunity, you know? So it's, that's, that's the energy that I'm seeing here. Yeah, with the chariot in your current situation, whatever is ending, it is a victory for you. It is a victory. It's freeing you to push forward um, in a very, very successful way with the chariot. Absolutely. A lot of travel involved. In the first couple of weeks of September, for some of you, a lot of travel, but it's um, it's what you want, and it brings you success, okay? Successful travels. With the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Six of Swords. So, yeah, it's you had to cut your losses in a situation, okay? You just had to cut your losses in a situation. You held on to it, and you invested in it, and you tried to make, make it grow uh, for the longest time, but it just it wasn't going anywhere. It wasn't going to happen. So everything that's happening... Uh, comes from the fact that you've made your peace that what you were investing in wasn't going to work out, okay? With the Three of Cups in the past, we have the Ten of Wands. So, maybe, because what I'm seeing here is, for some of you who stayed, if this is about a work situation or something going on with friends and family, you stayed where you were, you kind of uh, toughed it out because you enjoyed the people you were surrounded by, okay? So maybe you uh, really like your coworkers, maybe even like your boss, but it, the, the work wasn't fulfilling or the pay wasn't enough or, you know what I mean, it's just not what you wanted professionally, but socially was nice, you know? So for some of you, you just hung in there hoping something would change. For others, um, it's just a very big burden, Dealing with someone who was non-committal, dealing, dealing with someone who maybe had multiple options or who liked to keep their options open or uh, was a bit of a flirt or, you know what I mean, that sort of energy. And again, you invested a great deal in this with the Ten of Wands because you thought it was going to take you to the Three of Cups and that's what you're now leaving behind because it's just a big loss. Not a mistake, just a lesson, you know very big lesson because it allows you to find the opportunity that is actually what you want and deserve okay because maybe what you want it was less than what you deserve is what i'm hearing here okay so with the ace of pentacles is definitely an opportunity a new beginning coming in an offer coming in and again we have earth sign energy so taurus virgo capricorn might be making you a job offer a financial um offer or even a love offer okay with this um with this energy here King of Pentacles with these Pentacles could also be the bank telling you your loan was approved, your mortgage was approved, your paperwork came through, you know, um, whatever, whatever it is. But you have this much better opportunity with these of Pentacles. And it is something that if you do invest in it, it will grow. Okay, so it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of how much you're going to invest in it because that's how much it's going to grow. Okay, so that's, that's the kind of opportunities you want. 
And then with the King of Pentacles, we have the Devil, so a Capricorn might be significant here. And again, we have contracts and commitments. Maybe it's a lot of money that's coming your way, so it's very important that you read the contract very, very carefully. Okay. The world. The world is, again, a victory card, success, but it's relocating in order to have the success, whether that means you're moving or you're moving away from a situation to have the success. Okay. You're moving on by yourself. You're letting go of what happened so far, what you've invested, what you've lost or you think you've lost. Okay. Uh, what you've had to cut out. Um, but it is a success card, absolutely. And this tells you that you're going to be where you're, you're supposed to be, okay? And with the devil, there might be a very, very strong chemical, physical attraction, okay? Uh, with this new person coming in, they may be coming in from afar, or if you're traveling or you're moving, you might meet this person that way, okay? Or they're at a distance from you. Three of Pentacles, excellent new job opportunities. Again, uh, you're in a position where you will develop, you will grow, okay, with hard work. Uh, you're in the right circumstance. Everyone is on the same page. Everyone wants the same thing. For others, you've met the person that you could end up marrying with this energy because they're just serious, you know. With the Star card, there's a big dream coming true, okay. There's a big wish coming through, and um, you're just getting started on this path now, okay. This does talk about healing. So recovering from what you've had to walk away from and then keeping your eye on the prize because that's exactly what you're headed towards. Okay, so whatever the star card is for you. And the judgment card, absolutely. Getting freed, okay? You're liberating yourself from past burdens and you find yourself in the right place at the right time talking to the right people, okay? Getting everything that you deserve and more. Okay, with this judgment energy. And again, there is some sort of official news that is coming through with that. So, basically, whatever it is that you have to walk away from, okay? I do feel like you're making your peace with the fact that you have to walk away or you've already made your peace with it, but you're waiting for the right time or you're waiting for the paperwork or you're waiting for something to click and come in. Um... It, it really was a dead end. It really was not going to go where you hoped, okay? So I'm just saying that so you don't have any doubts in your heart when you're moving forward. So you don't have any regrets, okay? What if I left too soon? What if I didn't give it enough time? Honestly, it was a dead end, okay? So do not allow it to hold you back any further. Look to your new beginning that you've been planning, that you've been looking at, that you've been manifesting, that you've been working towards because it brings you everything and more okay so i hope this makes sense i hope it helps if you're dealing with these energies okay let me know what is going on for you how these messages are applying how they're resonating if they are be sure to watch all your signs make the most of the energy and i will see you soon bye for now